If you'd like to build more engaging learning experiences and could use a solid foothold, then this video is for you. My inspiration for this video is from binge watching Squid Games. If you'd like to follow along, you can find a preview in the video description. We'll look at how to meld storytelling and learning engagement into one experience with a linear branching scenario. This is not the freeform branching scenario you may be used to from playing video games. Those types of scenarios can be a lot of work. But if you know of any good resources on how to tackle that, leave it in the comments for others who might be interested. We will build a linear branching scenario. It's much quicker to build and is more suitable for scenarios where the objective is to follow a specific set of steps or procedures. Learners will be asked to make choices as they follow the story. The choice can be as simple as left or right. These may seem like small decisions, but with the right stakes, this is all it takes to engage the learners. First, define the objective. What knowledge, skills, attitudes, do you want your learners to achieve by completing the scenario? This will help you determine the content and structure. In the Squid Game example, the learner's objective is to cross the glass bridge by randomly choosing from two panes of glass. You'll notice that the learner chooses a character to start their journey. I normally use characters versus first person because the learner can make choices and explore different experiences through the eyes of someone else rather than just experiencing the story as themselves. This can make the story more immersive and provide opportunities for learning and self-reflection. So basically, when the character breaks the glass and plummets to their death, there's more room to laugh about it. <laughs> At any rate, be sure to start your scenario with the objective and how learners can progress through the branching paths. To write my story and plan the decision points, I just simply use Google Docs. You can find my template in the description. The decision points in this scenario are where learners must make a choice that affects the outcome of the story. My glass bridge scenario has eight decision points. Based on the decision points you've identified, create the branching paths for the scenario. I recommend limiting it to two well-crafted options. I designed it so that an incorrect answer gives the learner feedback and then sends them back to the very start of the bridge. For any other course, I typically design it so they return it to the decision point. And to make it more user-friendly, sometimes I'll just simply give the correct feedback and let them go on their merry way. I mean, they already have the best response, so what more do they really need? More pain, you say? Hmm. Sometimes I'll design a decision point with two incorrect responses. I'll do this if I need an opportunity to explain a common misconception in the feedback. It's a bit of a gotcha, but because they are playing as a character, it feels kind of fun to watch their character make a clear poor choice. I like to create my opening scene with a video. Powtoon's user-friendly interface makes it a breeze to create great videos quickly. You can also download images from Powtoon. This is super handy because it makes it so easy to add mixed media to the scenarios while maintaining the continuity of your course design. I author the scenarios with you do to jump to screens, but any authoring tool with branching works. I test the scenario how I intend to eventually deliver it to the learner. So I'm going to load my scenario into you do to's LMS and send an email alert to my learners. There will be revisions and be ready for it. Sometimes after spending all that time and effort to create something, it's difficult to hear that something isn't working. I'm in my fourth year developing courses and I have come to expect edits from my reviewers, no matter how polished I think my final copy is. It's kind of something I look forward to now. If you'd like to use the Squid Game as a template to build your own scenario, you can upload the zip file to your own you do account and start building right away. That download link is, that's right, in the description. And if you found this video helpful, give the video the digital nod of approval and help spread the knowledge by subscribing.